Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic in hand is Invention of Textile Machinery. We are just talking about Industrial Revolution and we are talking about the inventions that were being taken place in England. As regards textiles, my dear students, the flying shuttle, ये जो flying shuttle जो है, ये सारी textile industry की machines के मतलब बात हो रही है. आपको information इसलिए दी जा रही है कि industrial revolution is very much relevant with the course labor policy Pakistan, क्योंकि वहीं से जो concept है laborers का और उनसे मतलब का issues का वो develop हुआ है. इसलिए आपको ये सब कुछ बढ़ाया जा. The flying shuttle patented in 1733 by John Kay with a number of subsequent improvements including an important one in 1747 doubled the output of a weaver worsening the imbalance between spinning and weaving. Dear students, it became widely used around Lancashire after 1760 when John's son Robert invented the drop box which facilitated changing thread colors. They are just talking about the machine's parts. My dear students, Levi's Paul patented the roller spinning frame and the flyer and bobbin system for drying wool to a more even thickness. My dear students, the technology was further developed with the help of John White of Birmingham. Paul and White opened a mill in Birmingham which used their new rolling machine powered by a donkey. In 1743, a factory opened in Northampton with 50 spindles on each of five of Paul and White's machines. This operated until about 1764, my dear students. A similar mill was also built by Daniel Born in Lemonister. But this burnt down. Dear students, both Levi's Paul and Daniel Bond patented cardering machines in 1748. My dear students, based on two sets of rollers that traveled at different speeds, it was later used in the first cotton spinning mill. We are just talking that how Inventions जो हैं वो progress की तरफ गई और जिद्दत जो है वो textile की दुनिया में create हुई. Levi's invention was later developed and improved by Richard Arkwright in his water frame and Samuel Crompton in his spinning mule. These are all technical terminologies. If you are interested, you can consult. Wikipedia article, they are very important and interesting. Dear students, in 1764, in the village of Stanhill, Lancashire, James invented the spinning jenny, which he patented in 1770. It was the first practical spinning frame with multiple spindles. My dear students, the jenny worked in a similar manner to the spinning wheel by first clamping down on the fibers, then by drawing them out, followed by twisting. It was a simple wooden framed machine. Dear students, the spinning frame or water frame was developed by Richard Arkwright, who along with two partners patented it in 1769. Hope you have understood as to how this machineries went on progressing. Thank you very much indeed.